In the move to integrate the education system across the IGAD member states, IGAD has convened a regional workshop to validate member states on education qualification framework. The IGAD head of mission to Uganda, Lucy Daxbacha, stated that qualification framework will expand the opportunities for mobility of IGAD citizens while advancing the right to access quality education for some of the most marginalized individuals in our communities. We cannot have millions of persons who are not able to gain our opportunities for employment. The qualification framework will first and foremost support the free movement of workers in the region. And the regional qualification framework will also support ministries of education and all affiliate ministries, development partners, to actually put in place mechanisms that will enhance opportunities for employability, that will enhance opportunities for more skilling. We don't have uh, qualification frameworks which talk to one another. Each country has its own, much as Uganda, we don't have one at the moment, but um, it was so difficult. Kenya is ahead of us. It has already uh, a national profession framework. Ethiopia has already gone to one, and the other seven, six countries are still leaving. Uganda is one of them. Um, qualification framework is to provide member states with a convergence instrument of levels for all qualifications, classifications and recognition of formal, non-formal and informal learning. Uh, meant to solve this problem of cross-border uh, population movement, including refugees that have stayed in a country for a long time, uh, maybe returning to their own country or go to other countries with uh, the skills and uh, Competence that they have acquired in the countries where they stay. And when they go, they should be easily recognized. When they come, we should be able to assess their competence and then allow them to continue their studies or go to the labor market. When you have a national qualification framework, it helps you not just to place qualifications at different levels, but it also helps you to build a database of how many doctors, how many engineers, and some of the things we'll be discussing here is how to develop that database. In Kenya, we have already automated, so we have an, an, an automated system. In 2017, ministers in charge of education in IGAD member states adopted the Djibouti Declaration with key priority areas for equitable inclusion and quality education for all, with particular emphasis on education for refugees, returnees and host communities. Globally, more than 150 countries had developed national qualification frameworks and many have advanced their implementation. Zahara Abigaba, UBC News.